Hi, I'm Daniel Smith, supervising attorney. And today I'll be talking a little bit about what happens in your case after you've been arrested, after you've come in and hired the firm, my firm or somebody else's firm, and uh, what happens in the case exactly. Well, first of all, if it's a misdemeanor court appearance that we're talking about, and let's say it's a DUI, the most common offense in the state of California, your attorney will be making the first court appearance or the arraignment for you. And then what happens after that? Well, the next thing that happens is that the attorney sets a settlement conference or a readiness hearing you'll hear. What we'll do is we'll get the reports, we'll make copies of the reports, we will send them to you, and we'll go over those reports with you. Now, in many cases, my clients will actually hire me over the phone, they might fill out this uh, form that I have that helps them uh, to communicate to me uh, the nature of their offense. Um, and then we get the payment schedules set up, we feel comfortable with each other, and finally we get to really the meat of the case. What do the reports say? So you're gonna have a copy of the reports, I'm gonna have a copy of the reports. I'm going to call you in to come into my office, we're gonna sit down, and we're going to talk about what are the strengths and the weaknesses in the case. I'll have some questions for you. And I'll be using those answers and your explanation in the readiness hearing, which is an informal hearing or settlement conference that allows me to talk to the prosecutor and sometimes to the judge about really what might have been the impetus, what might have uh, started the uh, chain of events that led to the arrest. Very, very important. A judge is going to look at that in determining how they feel about the case. In many, many cases, I will tell you that my client does not want to go to trial. He or she wants a fair shake. He or she wants to get out their story and to have the appropriate punishment or dismissal in many, many cases as a result of getting that story out. That's what our job is, and that's the first part of the uh, process of defending a person that's been charged with a crime.